Hello, good morning. Welcome to the parish of Jarrow and Simonside. It's so good that you can join us today. It's Thursday the 23rd of December. And we're here for morning prayer. So wonderful that you could be here. Amazing that we can take half an hour away from all of the demands of the day. And so good that you could be with me this morning. So we have shared a little meditation all the way through since March last year. So let's just stay with that meditation again today. And please feel free to repeat after me these wonderful words from Psalm 46. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am. Be still and know. Be still. Be. So welcome, welcome. Welcome Judith on your travels from Stockholm this morning. Welcome Sunny. We'll just get ready to begin. If you are following with your Bible this morning, our readings are Psalm 128, Malachi chapter 3 beginning at verse 13 and Matthew chapter 23 verses 1 to 12. You can listen in and add your own prayers or if you'd like to follow the order of service you'll find a link above this video. Good morning, Carol. Let's begin. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Reveal among us the light of your presence, that we may behold your power and glory. Blessed are you, Sovereign God of all, to you be praise and glory forever. In your tender compassion, the dawn from on high is breaking upon us to dispel the lingering shadows of night. As we look for your coming among us this day, open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will that the world may rejoice and give you praise blessed be god father son and holy spirit blessed be god forever a song of the king's glory The earth is the Lord's and all that fills it, the compass of the world and all who dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the seas and set it firm upon the rivers of the deep. Who shall ascend the hill of the Lord or who can rise up in his holy place? Those who have clean hands and a pure heart, 
who have not lifted up their soul to an idol, nor sworn an oath to a lie. They shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a just reward from the God of their salvation. Such is the company of those who seek him, of those who seek your face, O God of Jacob. Lift up your heads, O gates, be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory, the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord who is mighty in battle. Lift up their heads, O gates, be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory, the Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Our psalm this morning is Psalm 128 and the refrain is, How abundant is your goodness, O Lord. How abundant is your goodness, O Lord. Blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. You shall eat the fruit of the toil of your hands it shall go well with you, and happy shall you be. How abundant is your goodness, O Lord! Your wife within your house shall be like a fruitful vine, your children round your table like fresh olive branches. Thus shall the one be blessed who fears the Lord, how abundant is your goodness, O Lord! The Lord from out of Zion bless you, that you may see Jerusalem in prosperity all the days of your life. May you see your children's children, and may there be peace upon Israel. How abundant is your goodness, O Lord. Let us pray. O Christ, our true vine, may we, your branches, be ever fruitful in your service and share your love and peace with all your children in the power of the Spirit and to the glory of the Father. Amen. Our Old Testament reading this morning is from the book of Malachi, chapter 3, beginning at verse 13. And reading through to the end of chapter 4. <coughs> You have spoken harsh words against me, says the Lord. Yet you say, how have we spoken against you? You have said it is vain to serve God. What do we profit by keeping his command or by going about as mourners before the Lord of hosts? Now we count the arrogant happy. Evildoers not only prosper, but when they put God to the test, they escape. Then those who revered the Lord 
spoke with one another. The Lord took note and listened, and a book of remembrance was written before him of those who revered the Lord and thought on his name. They shall be mine, says the Lord of hosts, my special possession on the day when I act, and I will spare them as parents spare their children who serve them. Then once more you shall see the difference between the righteous and the wicked, between one who serves God and one who does not serve him. See, the day is coming, burning like an oven, when all the arrogant and all evildoers will be stubble. The day that comes shall burn them up, says the Lord of hosts, so that it will leave them neither root nor branch. But for you who revere my name, the Son of Righteousness shall rise with healing in its wings. You shall go out leaping like calves from a stall, and you shall tread down the wicked, for they will be ashes under the soles of your feet. On the day when I act, says the Lord of hosts. Remember the teaching of my servant Moses, the statutes and ordinances that I commanded him at Horeb for all Israel. <coughs> Lo, I will send you the prophet Elijah before the great and terrible day of the Lord comes. He will turn the hearts of parents to their children and the hearts of children to their parents so that I will not come and strike the land with a curse. For well, the word of the Lord, thanks be to God. Please excuse me. <coughs> A Song of the Wilderness The refrain at the very beginning and the end is Lift up your voice with strength, O herald of good tidings. Lift up your voice with strength, O herald of good tidings. The wilderness and the dry land shall rejoice, the desert shall blossom and burst into song. They shall see the glory of the Lord, the majesty of our God. Strengthen the weary hands and make firm the feeble knees. Say to the anxious, be strong, fear not, for God is coming with judgment, coming with judgment to save you. Then shall the eyes of the blind be opened and the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then shall the lame leap like a heart and the tongue of the dumb sing for joy. For waters shall break forth in the wilderness and streams in the desert. The ransomed of the Lord shall return with singing with everlasting joy upon their heads. Joy and gladness shall be theirs, and sorrow and sighing shall flee away. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Lift up your voice with strength, O herald of good tidings. Our Gospel reading this morning is from St Matthew chapter 23 verses 1 to 12. Then Jesus said to the crowds and to his disciples, the scribes and the Pharisees sit on Moses' seat. Therefore do whatever they teach you and follow it. But do not do as they do. 
for they do not practice what they teach. They tie up heavy burdens, hard to bear, and lay them on the shoulders of others. But they themselves are unwilling to lift a finger to move them. They do all their deeds to be seen by others, for they make their phylacteries broad and their fringes long. They love to have the place of honour at banquets and the best seats in the synagogues and to be greeted with respect in the marketplaces and to have people call them rabbi. But you are not to be called rabbi for you have one teacher and you are all students and call no one your father on earth, for you have one father, the one in heaven. Nor are you to be called instructors, for you have one instructor, the Messiah. The greatest among you will be your servant. All who exalt themselves will be humbled and all who humble themselves will be exalted. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. And we'll just pause for a moment. Let's have a little bit of silence. We've had a lot of words. We've been gathering together a little more frequently than normal and we've been reading this book through Advent. So let me share with you the reflection for today from Julie Francis de Carney, Bishop Julie. And the verse that she focuses on is verse 4. They tie up heavy burdens and lay them on the shoulders of others. Verse 4 The American author and Unitarian minister Robert Fulgham is reputed to have said, Don't worry that children never listen to you. Worry that they're always watching you wise words and an object lesson for parents and all who have dealings with children and young people. Similarly, Jesus tells his disciples to do as the scribes and the Pharisees teach, but not as they do, for they are hypocrites and there is disparity between their words and actions. I recall hearing my father preach a sermon in the early days of the revolution in Iran as the Christian community was facing the very real possibility of suffering 
and persecution. It was early 1979 and I was 12 years old. But it's remained with me ever since. I have been speaking about forgiveness for many years, he said. But now the time is coming when I will have to learn to live it. The disparity between words and actions is a perennial problem for the church generally. Over the centuries, Jesus' words of love and welcome, of compassion, generosity and reconciliation have been preached far and wide. And yet so often, as Christian communities, we struggle to embody the radical inclusion that the message demands. Practising what we preach can be demanding and sometimes costly, but it's worth reminding ourselves that ultimately we will be remembered for how we behaved and how we will be judged more by our actions than our words. Now it is time to awake out of sleep for the night is far spent and the day is at hand. Now is our salvation nearer than when we first believed for the night is far spent. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and put on the armour of light for the day is at hand. Put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh for the night is far spent and the day is at hand. The Benedictus, the song of Zechariah, the refrain at the beginning and the end is, like the sun in the morning sky, the saviour of the, do the world will dawn, like rain upon the meadows, the Christ will come down upon us. Like the sun in the morning sky, the saviour of the world will dawn. Like rain upon the meadows, the Christ will come down upon us. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Like the sun in the morning sky, the Saviour of the world will dawn. Like rain upon the meadows, the Christ will come down upon us. morning evening. Time now for our prayers. <coughs> Excuse me.
in the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray to the Father. Loving God, help us to weave together different aspects of our lives. That what we pray and what we teach will be how we live, love and learn. Let us be prepared to embody Jesus' teachings of love, compassion, welcome, inclusion. Let us embody them in our daily lives, that our lives will bear good fruit, good fruit that will last. You call us, Lord, to comfort your people. Continue to mould us and shape us and put a right heart within us that we may pass on this great love we have already received. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, as we are so close now to the miracle and feast of Christmas, Just slow down those things that wish to hurry us. Give us that space in which to ponder the deep, deep mystery. Give us ears that we may hear, truly hear, the people around us. And may we continue to pray, not only for the parishes and communities from which we are gathered this morning, but for the whole world, all people, the whole of creation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And in a time of silence, we offer you those prayers on our hearts this morning. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray for all who may be sick at this time or suffering in mind, body or spirit. We pray for all in residential care, long-term care. We pray for family and friends and all who care for them. And we pray by name today for John Allison, Jessica McCaskill, Carrie Waggett, Doreen Moig, Andrew Garvick, Mrs Hewitt, Pat Middleton, Dorothy Macbeth, Stella Matthews, Michael Hughes, Chris Haynes, John Pike, Anne Taylor, Rod Taylor, Carol Woodfield, Christine, B. 
Beatrice Yorston, Wynne Aldersled, Gillian, Mavis, Grant Macbeth, Susan Fisher, Ruth Banks, James Shepherd, Marjorie Carruthers, Anne Henderson, Brenda Prophet, Stan, Gary, Jim, John Thorburn, Ashton, Marion, Betty Hall, Isla Mohammed, Gary Patterson, Jonathan Hall, June Barris, Judith, Derek Yorston, Tracy, Valerie, Tawny, Michelle, George Dunn, Maureen McLaughlin, William Fisher, Margaret Austin, Jimmy Finn, baby Chloe Grace Taylor, Killian Coyles, and for those people on our hearts today. May they know your healing presence, your comfort and your peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving God, we pray for all receiving end-of-life care today at home, hospital or hospice. We pray for their loved ones and all who care for them. We pray for all who have died recently and for those left to grieve. Bring them light, Lord, in moments of darkness. Help them trust and believe in the words of your Son, that in your house are many dwelling places, room for each and every one of us, should we choose. And Lord, we pray for the repose of the soul by name for John Black, Patricia Leonard, Marjorie Towell and Baby Talia. We commend them to you as we commend all those we love but no longer see. We commend them into your eternal care. Let light perpetual shine upon them. May they rest in peace and rise in glory. Amen. Awaiting his coming in glory, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May the Lord, when he comes, find us watching and waiting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And thank you for joining me this morning. Thank you, Judith, for joining us from Stockholm on your holidays too. Hope you all have a lovely Christmas. We've got one more daily prayer to go in Advent, which is tomorrow, Christmas Eve. And there is another service in the meantime on this Facebook page, 10 o'clock today, Holy Eucharist, in person and live stream from St John the Baptist's on the Scotch Estate, Nairn Street, at 10 o'clock. And then all being well, I'll be with you in the morning. If you are in Jarrow and Simon's side <coughs> tomorrow, excuse me, for our special services, we have two crib services at four o'clock at St Peter's and at St Simon's. We have two early Eucharist for Christmas Eve at eight o'clock at St Peter's and St John's. We have Midnight Mass, 11.30, at St Paul's on Church Bank. 
and then on Christmas Day morning Bishop Sarah Bishop of Jarrow will be joining us for our Christmas Day Eucharist 10 o'clock at St Peter's so um, you're very welcome to join us not everything's live stream but certainly midnight mass will be live stream and the Christmas Day service and I've just noticed Judith it's five o'clock in the morning in Stockholm you are good to join with us have a lovely day everyone and let me send you on with God's blessing may God bless you and keep you may his face shine upon you and be gracious to you May the Lord look upon you this day and always and grant you his peace and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit remain with you and those who you love this day and always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. Oh, it's five, minus five degrees. I thought you were talking about the time. It's temperature. See, if you just take a quick look at the, the notes, you don't take it all in. Wrap up, Judith. Keep warm and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.